Introducing our university partner. You can transfer to this university through JIC's American Degree Program. Hi, my name is Yvonne Pineda. I'm a junior from Honduras majoring in Finance and International Business, and I'm going to be showing you around campus today. Hey y'all, my name is Nick Fife. I'm a senior studying Applied Behavioral Science on the pre-med track from Overland Park, Kansas. I want to show you around the fourth floor of the Union here. Um, this is a really great hangout space for studying. We also got a coffee shop up here. If you go downstairs, we've also got our dining options as well as retail, our bookstores down on the second floor. So lots to explore here at the Union. Welcome to Dyke Hall. This is home to KU's Natural History Museum. We're ranked fourth in the nation amongst universities as far as natural history museums go. We have nine million different species of animals in here, as well as an active beehive right on top of that red dome over there. Welcome to Lincoln Hall, home to our study abroad office. Over 27% of our student body population does some sort of study abroad program during their years here. I had the chance to uh, come here to this office and plan my study abroad program. They were really helpful helping me with financial aid, choosing what program would be best for my major and the amount of time I had. So I would totally recommend come here if you're planning a study abroad. So now we've come across one of our most historic buildings on campus, Fraser Hall. It's actually the tallest point in all of Lawrence. So this is home to our psychology department, sociology, and anthropology. So chances are, with how our KU core system works, you probably will have a class in here. This is Watson Library. This is one of our seven libraries on campus, and this is actually the biggest library on the state of Kansas and the oldest at KU. A lot of students come here and study for their finals. We have a coffee shop here, and you can just sit here, relax, and study with your groups. So this is Bailey Hall. It's another super historic building on campus. Um, it was built in 1900 and is home to a lot of our greatest traditions. Um, the Rock Chalk Chant actually started in this building, started as Ra Ra Jayhawk, and that was kind of a rallying cry for our science team when we went to national competitions. Um, over the years, the geology department kind of said, well, we're built on limestone, which is also known as chalk rock. Why don't we just change it to Rock Chalk Jayhawk? The rest is history. So that's kind of how that started. Um, another really cool fact about this is Helium was first isolated in this building, so your balloons float because of KU. This is Strong Hall. Here we can find uh, most of our administrative offices, and we can also find the first year experience office, which is in charge of putting up the Hawk Week, which is your first week here on campus, where you can get involved in so many clubs and organizations. So this is Wesco Hall. This is home to our humanities department. We also have um, some really great lecture halls behind these glass doors back here. Um, and even though there's no sand, no water, we refer to this uh, area as Wesco Beach. This is kind of the cultural hub of campus. Um, you'll see all sorts of tabling out here, as well as demonstrations. Um, so it's a really cool place to kind of go get involved with your community um, and even study out here. This is Butick Hall. It used to be our basketball court, but it's now home to our three biggest lecture halls. Uh, coming from a small high school, I was nervous to come to this big class settings, but all of the classes here have a discussion or a lab section afterwards with smaller uh, sections. So this is, makes it more approachable with your professor and your teacher assistants. So this is one of my favorite parts on campus. Behind me, we have the Campanile Bell Tower. So when it's your graduation day, you're gonna get to walk uh, underneath it. Uh, but if you do it before, there's a myth that it says that you won't graduate in time. So I will advise you to stay away from it in the meantime. We also have Marvin's Grove, which is our green area on campus. A lot of students come here to do their homework study because there's a Wi-Fi here too. So if you just feel like going outdoors, you can very well just come here. Uh, and we also have a lake of our own, Potter Lake. So this is Marvin Hall, it's home to our School of Architecture. Um, one really cool thing about our School of Architecture is we offer a five-year master's in architecture program um, that's not offered very many other places in the U.S. Another really cool fact about this building is on the back of the building we have a classroom designed solely by students. So if you're on campus, come check it out. It's a really cool project that we've been working on. 
behind me, we have the Chi Omega Fountain and the Chi Omega Sorority. Uh, about 20% of our student population is involved with Greek life. And if you want to go another way, we also have more professional school related, related fraternities. And you have about 600 clubs and organizations to choose from to get involved. So this is Richie Hall. It's part of our Earth Energy and Environment Center here at KU. Um, it's one of our newest buildings on campus and home to one of our largest integrated style classrooms. So basically what this um, entails is a reverse style learning classroom where you do the like textbook learning. You may watch a video lecture before you come to class. And then when you get to class, you can work on practice problems with your professors, uh, graduate teaching assistants, undergraduate teaching assistants, your peers, um, and just have a whole support system kind of learn that material better. Um, overall, it's one of my favorite uh, buildings on campus. Really great place to come study or just hang out. This is Lawson Hall where we can find labs like this, and this is because KU is, has a lot of uh, research opportunities to offer. As one of the 36 public universities in the Association of American Universities, we get a lot of funding. And it does not only go to grads or PhD students, but undergraduate freshman classmen can also apply to be uh, part of this research. So this is our engineering complex. It's home to our largest professional school here at KU. All sorts of great projects happening here, such as Jayhawk Motorsports. And this is the Jabir Center where a lot of students like to hang out. It is the house of the original rules of basketball and is joined by Allen Field House where our basketball team plays. Thank you so much for joining us in this tour. I hope you were able to envision yourself coming here and we hope to see you soon. Rock Chuck. <laughs>